Hey y'all, so I guess this will fall under the category of Ben's Leghorns, given that they'll be the main content. We're still on uh, baby hatch watch, we're about 21 days in, and uh, none of them have pipped through the shell yet, but uh, we had quite an alarm, Jordan and I came out here to check them, and we've got another critter that uh, Mama Hen alerted when we came in, and I thought maybe it was us, but I knew better, and she was chasing us big old chicken snake out of her nest. That's why I got the ladder up there. We're, he's up there in a void. And uh, it's gonna make for a stressful couple of days till we can kill him or them baby chickens are safe. I believe he got one of the eggs. In fact, the one that uh, showed on the video earlier today because we're down to to seven now. But anyway, what I was wanting to show you is uh, Ben's Leghorns, they're doing well. Uh, let's see. Now they are learning <laughs> from the big chickens how to take a dirt bath. Isn't that be different thing you ever seen? <laughs> so that's how chickens actually clean themselves of any parasites and things of that nature. And that's a big old Dominecker out there teaching them how to wallow in the dirt. How about that? I don't know if that big white broiler knows quite what to do. <laughs> Ain't that something? They are getting big. But uh, they're normal chickens. They're not even 10 weeks old, really. But uh, they're learning how to how to be a chicken, right? Things are something else, and they'll get up and brush off, and they'll be just as white as snow. <laughs> I uh, I guess this is the snake day. We saw that one out here in the hen house where the, the broiler is sitting on her eggs, and I got tickled. Boy, she alerted quick. I thought she'd move slow, but she got after that snake like it was on fire chased it out of there but i went back to the house to get a uh a flashlight so i could look in that void and lo and behold there wasn't another one in them nanditas up front well i got the machete and i got the nanditas trimmed and the snake killed all in one swoop <laughs> probably wasn't the trim job i was expecting but uh two birds with one snake kill right <laughs> but anyway so we'll be watching pretty close he's actually up in that void right there and the, the hens right in there but um, he was chasing rats and uh, just the way this building was designed there's a void up there i can't see him he's down there in the rafters somewhere but uh, next time he pokes his head out i'll give him another stab i got him a couple of times with the shovel but it was just his tail in and those snake hides are pretty tough kind of bounced off of prey Anyway, that's uh, Ben's Leghorn Snakes and Baby Chickens update for today. <laughs> I guess that Dominic can just show them old broilers how to do it. <laughs> oh, them chickens are something else. <laughs> well, here comes another one. I guess they're having a mud wrestling if it rains, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that one sitting on the other ones, poor things. Yeah, there's something else. Y'all have a good day. Be the light, and we'll keep you updated on these little baby chickens. Um, should start getting exciting here the next two or three days as they prepare to make their entrance and join their older friends, the, the leghorns. I'm anxious to see what kind of chickens we have come out because it's either leghorn or a pistol peep. Leghorn's a Polish silky cross. See there behind me? Oh, there he goes. And then uh, pistol peep's been busy too. Um, so he's an Americana. So either way, they're going to be a crossbred because they're breeding all these hens. So it's going to be a potluck of what we get. I did see one of the blue eggs, Americana. Um, I don't think we got any of the big white broiler eggs that were fertile. I'm kind of suspect that we've got another one that uh, these broilers are putting these these other hens to shame. Let me show you real quick. I'm running a little longer. I'm tinted. But uh, nope. No, you not disturb maternity ward. <laughs> watch, I'll get that snake hit me right. <laughs> not watching. He, uh, we're going to have to get him, though. He can't be, can't be staying around with these baby eggs and chicks. Now, this one, this is just an old junk barn that I haven't been able to clean out yet. Just old stuff. And, uh, we may have another one sitting on eggs here. She's all, I see there's about four that are broken down there, and I just noticed her yesterday. My aunt saw her, and uh, I'm going to watch her pretty close. If she turns into brooding, we'll move her into the, the brooding pen. 
<laughs> and put her put some eggs underneath her now that I know that I'm, I'm having to walk carefully because I'm just expecting the snake to come out anytime. He's probably about four foot long. But, uh, he's an egg eater, even though he was after the... Oh, hang on, excuse me. After the rats, he'll still eat them eggs. I think he got one of them on us. But I don't think it'll pick it up. Let's see here. Oh, where's my flipper around her thing? There it is. There she is. She's uh, still a setting. She's clucking along the way. It shouldn't be long. We should start hearing some clucking coming back to her. Got to be patient. It'll come when it's time. All right. Y'all have a good day. I'll say be the light for the last time now. And we'll uh, get to check in with you later. No rooster. You can't go in there. All right. Y'all have a good day.